Hey everyone, it's JT. And it's Ed, how are you? Welcome to another episode of Recruit Hub. So Ed, this week we had a lot of people chatting inside Recruit Hub and I thought we got a really interesting scenario that I wanna talk about regarding candidate feedback. So here's what was said. This is hitting me really hard at the moment. We have three step process with a phone screen group interview and then a final interview with our hiring manager. Our group interviews are not black and white decision-making process. We have our candidates work together to problem solve various scenarios and come up with a solution to present to us. We are very focused on watching as the candidates work through these together as a team. At the end of the process, we vote on who we think should move forward based on a cultural fit. I mm -hmm. always reach out to candidates via email if not chosen to notify them and keep it personal. Still, not a generic email, but I often get responses that are positive but ask for feedback. Now these are qualified individuals that I've screened, but in person, maybe their actions didn't match up. So how do I respectfully give feedback to that? I usually just reply that I don't have any feedback and I let them know that I can be a resource if they want to connect on LinkedIn, etc. I recognize that besides being part of my company, I have a personal brand and I want to keep a good relationship with these candidates um, that I screen. What do you think I should do? Yeah, so feedback is always such a fine line, you know, be between being helpful and being gracious and being respectful and setting yourself up for some negativity and potentially even litigation. Um, you know, unfortunately, we've been kind of scared straight a little bit in, um, you know, to use that term from the TV show of, of a lot of things that are happening now with giving feedback. Yours is a really interesting scenario for interviewing and quite frankly, one that I find, you know, both exciting and also kind of scary too, um, because you're actually kind of putting people in a room and letting them do their thing and, and watching by, and evaluating by watching. So, you know, I often wonder in an interview case, you know, if that's the right way to go down the path, but that's a whole nother discussion. To answer your question about feedback, my philosophy is keep, always keep it positive. We got to remember one thing, people, we all have egos. And while you want to be forthright and honest, you've got to couch it in a positive manner. No one wants to hear, as much as they say they want to hear, no one wants to hear that they blew it or that they didn't have, you know, a certain, you know, whatever soft skill or whatever it is. What you do is really keep it to the job description itself. And so, yes, you're screening them up front and you're doing your due diligence up front, but you can say we dug a little deeper on factor X and realized that we needed just factor Y, you know, and, and so unfortunately for this role, it's not a fit, but let's definitely, you're doing the right thing by saying let's keep in touch on LinkedIn and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, you really have to walk a fine line on feedback. I always say it's an art, not a skill. And it really is something that you have to learn over time and watch people and learn from people who do it well and share that. I've got lots of templates we can share in Recruit Hub with all of you. But I've got to say that at the end of the day, verbal feedback and written feedback needs to take into account ego and needs to take into account the delicacy of how you deliver the feedback and always, always find a reasonable expectation that doesn't insult the ego that can really give them some sort of feedback. So again, digging in deeper on a, on a requirement for the job or maybe you know a discussion you had during the conversation at the interview or during the assessment process in your unique interview process where you discovered something that you can tangibly use that won't upset the apple cart. Yeah, I'm just going to tag on to that and say that you all know that my company specializes in working with individuals, right? Those job seekers. And this is their number one complaint, that they don't get feedback. And of course, when they do get feedback, they're disappointed. You're never going to take away that disappointment. They didn't get the job. Of course, they're going to be disappointed. But what you can do specifically in this situation is make them understand that there were a lot of good candidates and they were one of them. Really reinforce that and say, look, there were a lot of candidates applied for this job, but you were one of just a handful that were actually brought in to go through this process and you did a great job. It's not that you did anything wrong. We just had a number of good candidates to choose from. And in this particular case, there was somebody that had a little bit more of this type of experience or this type of skill set that we felt was the best fit. But trust us when we say this was a really hard decision and we don't like letting you down either. This is a hard conversation for me to have with you. I just want you to know you did a great job. This is just how it went. And with that in mind, I would just also add here, I think you should deliver this by phone. 
I really feel about the VIP candidate experience. If somebody's come all the way through your process, they've been in for these interviews like this, think about the time and energy they've invested in prepping for this meeting, taking time out maybe from a job, taking vacation time or sick time to come to the interview. I really, reputation-wise, make a phone call and just do what Ed and I suggested here, which is keep it positive, talk about the fact that they were they were really in the top there to even get that interview, and it just came down to someone else, no, not today, but not, no, not never, so let's stay in touch. And I think when you do that, you're going to see, while they won't be, you know, overjoyed, they certainly will be really appreciative. Right. And and a hundred percent, just want to piggyback on that last comment. You absolutely owe these people a phone call if they've gone all the way through the process. You know, when I run recruiting teams and and advise recruiters, that's always a rule of thumb. There is no negotiation on that. It's a respectful respectful thing to do, and quite honestly, something you'd expect if you were in their shoes. All right, so if you enjoyed this edition of Recruit Hub, then Ed and I have got to ask you, why aren't you inside Recruit Hub? It is where recruiters like you are getting elite level courses, coaching, and community from none other than Ed and myself. Yeah, it's been, you know, already in just a short time since we've launched, really cool to see some of the conversations that are going on. But also, I got to tell you, you know, we, JT, put a lot on, JT and I put a lot of thought into putting this courseware together to give you a comprehensive view for all levels of recruiters, in-house, agency, you name it, it really covers everything that you wanna know from A to Z, from employer brand to interviewing to behavioral interviewing, you name it, it's in there. On top of that though, like JT mentioned, I never had a career coach. I had mentors, I had people helping me, but what this is is a private community of people who are just like you and I, and you get coaching from myself, from JT, and from each other. It's such a great idea for way for people to collaborate and ask questions in a private forum that's not on social media. We don't have to hear fear percu- repercussion of asking a question that might be one level or another level or looks in silly asking a question. So at the end of the day, it's a tool that JT and I put together that we think really encompasses everything that we always wanted and people need today. Yeah, there's no setup fees. It's a monthly subscription. You can cancel at any time. Come in and test it out for a month. See what you think. I guarantee you're gonna be addicted. You know, we're a tribe of recruiters and we're always looking to learn best practices. It's not about technology, it's about technique. And what you're gonna do in here is really take your skill level up and have a lot of fun doing it and meet a lot of amazing people in our space. So I hope you come check us out and join us on Recruit Hub. See you there.